Hello everyone, welcome to Spin Size Bootcamp series on CVP Cloud Studio. Uh, in the last video, we talked about Cisco D Cloud. Uh, what are the different components? As we talked, uh, uh, like we've been talking about different components of a call flow. When a call comes in, it goes through voice gateway. It then goes to like through SIP proxy server, and then it goes to call server, and then it goes to ICM. We saw all all those components there in the Cisco D Cloud. Uh, and today we're going to create our very first application in the Cisco CVP Call Studio the hello world application so let's go to cisco d cloud and now we are here in the cvp call server cvp server here we launch our cisco unified call application it takes a little time so i've already have it open here now to create a new project you go to file and then you go to call studio project we're going to name this demo underscore So by default, it's going to take this space to save the, your know, you can change this as well because I have, I'm using the default location. It's coming up like this. So hit finish. Uh, here now you see a start of call element here. So from the elements, uh, let's go to sub dialogue elements and in the Sub dialog elements, let's go to a Cisco sub dialog elements and drag and drop Cisco CVP dialog start and CVP dialog return to your workspace. Now, Cisco uh, CVP sub dialog return is, uh, you know, it also acts as a hang up element to end the call. Now, uh, and also let's bring in a audio message because we want our callers to listen to a good message a good greeting message when he calls in so now uh, let's configure our elements if we go to audio element here on the right hand side you'll be able to see this panel go to audio go to audio groups go to initial go to audio item one and then write the message you want your caller to hear when he enters a call or whenever he makes a call. It's a simple hello world application, so it's a simple hello world audio message. Um, now, if you see here, there's this URI box. This is a, here you can enter the location of the audio files and where they, uh, it's basically the media server hosts the uh, audio files. So you can give the address of the media server or the media server IP can be given here. Now we have written the message here. Uh, so uh, configuration of audio element is done. We go to the first element, click uh, right click and click on the exit state, connect. And we are connecting all these boxes to create a continual flow. Now, if you go to uh, CVP sub dialog return, uh, here uh, in the <clears throat> element configuration window uh, so once you're done with the call the call variables are being stored in the cvp call studio and here through this element whatever the uh, variables you uh, and the information associated with them you stored this information from this session will be passed to the icm so for caller input let's just say yes for now because if you don't enter any uh, value here uh, so it will show you a caller input error uh, so for now let's just enter yes to it and it's it's a value it will be returned when a caller interacts with the application so uh, just to make it look a bit easy on the eyes we select all these elements we right click and then we align we align them to center uh, if you double click on an element or if you right click on an element and if you rename it you can easily and you know for others who are going to use your call flow for them to understand what why actually this element is here and why is it being used you can simply write the usage so we are going to write us it's a welcome message hit enter so it gets renamed here. 
so now next go to the folder that you have created remember we named our folder to be demo2 so you go here you right click and then you click validate okay so it threw us an error so it's a uh, let's just see what happened here uh, if you go to the element and hit on properties you and if you go to you have to check these uh, settings one by one let's see in the general settings what happened okay i see here so it's set to the voice xml gateway is set to cisco dtmf let's change it to voice xml 2.0 with cisco dtmf and now hit okay and now let's try to deploy it uh let's validate it first okay still not validating so let's go to properties again and see if there's anything else we can change or something else we are missing on so we have these endpoint settings we have these audio settings okay so what happens is uh sometimes call studio throws an error but it can debug the program so right click and debug the call studio process yes and it will start debugging it so here in the debugger window, you'll be able to see that it started debugging and the application is running. And once it's done with the debugging process, it will give us an option. Yeah, it's done. So if we connect now, we'll be able to see how our application will work or if it's working at all. So it's connected and it played the audio a message that we wanted it to play so it's working fine now so we terminate the debugging process and go to the builder again and now we need to deploy this application so right click on the application and hit deploy so uh, again it's going to take a default path uh, all these voice applications as we have already discussed they reside in the vxml server so this is where uh, our vxml server is in cvp and there it created a nice folder for our application and our application and all the activity logs all the error logs and all the uh, you know call flows associated with our application will reside here so hit finish our application is now deployed so where do we see it and how do we deploy it it's not deployed yet let's go to the administration and then c drive and if you see here go to cisco go to cvp and then go to the vxml server here go to applications find your application go to admin here you will be able to see these dot bat files so we are going to use uh, the dot bat files to you know deploy our application so double click on deploy dot bat respond yes and hit enter so you will be able to see the message here that application has been loaded and is now running so our application is now running if you re if you want to double click what you like if you want to double check what you can do is you can check the status of the uh, application so double click on status.pat the application is running you'll be able to see here that the application demo2 is running but there are no active calls so it's still in session but it's in the waiting state so now we go to ICM. Remember, we talked about ICM and how the um, ICM is used to point to the, uh, you know, uh, our external script through VRU. So here we are. Let's, we are in the ICM environment now. Let's go to UCC administrator tools, script editor, double click on it. And you'll be, you'll enter the script editor open a file uh, we will learn to create the icm script uh, in the later videos but just to keep it simple for the sake of this video 
I have a plan already open. So uh, we have talked about setting these vari variables, giving the CVP server address, giving the media address. Uh, and here we will point this application to our application. You And you won't be able to do it now. I'll show you uh, why not. So if you hit enter, okay, because it was already in editing mode, but you would need to go into edit script mode here. This icon, you'll need to click it, and then you'll enter the edit script mode, and then you'll be able to make the changes. So I think we're all done here. Um, hit save. Okay, our file is saved now. So uh, now this is in the monitor mode. So these green boxes you see here will show you when like the number of calls that came in and how they traverse the path, where, where they go and where you lost them. So it's a good tool to know which element is not working properly. So here is the external script. Uh, this is the script that this will point to. Uh, this is the script that we wrote in our CVP call studio and we deployed it. And now let's make a call and see if we are able to get in. Welcome to Boot Camp Hello World application. Okay, so that was our call. It was just a simple message. We connected to the call and it hung up on us. So, so yeah, that's it for the video. Congratulations. You just made and deployed your first very own Hello World application. Congratulations. Here you have all these other elements. I will try to keep uh, like post more videos using these elements as well. Uh, but you can go ahead and try these different elements, you know, bring them into your uh, work uh, workspace, connect them, um, you know, you can use this element configuration table to configure, configure them however you want. So uh, go ahead and try to deploy your first Hello World application. Thank you.